Would you like some help? Help. Okay, pick it up. Give it to Mama. Thank you. We'll just leave it like that for now, okay? We'll fix it later. I don't know about you guys, but like, I never expected to have like everything throughout the entire house done within like a week or, or even a month, really. But I really thought I would have had a lot more of like our decor pieces down, and I don't. Because I feel like for decoration, you need to have furniture. I ordered a couch, and it should be coming. But then when I checked the delivery status last night, it's predicting like a whole month. We have no furniture, and I feel like I don't want to get started with the whole decorating process until we at least have a couch, because that's going to be like the anchor for the living room. Um, the kitchen is pretty much done. We just need uh, pot lights and um, bar stools. So aside from that, the kitchen is done, and then I just need to like organize the interior of the whole thing. So the couch is on its way. The dining room is looking like a hot mess, but I do plan to tackle those boxes behind me sometime today. Now I'm making pancakes um, for breakfast, and I just realized that I don't have mixing bowls. So I just bought this one. I, Honestly, I did a grocery order and they didn't ha they didn't give me my flour. And so I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna get some pancake mix. I like to make my pancakes from scratch. Hina really likes the Krusty's brand from Costco. Um, I've never tried the President's Choice brand. I've used Aunt Jemima. But guys, like with everything that's happening, there's barely anything um, in the stores and my grocery order was just a fail this week. So, um, I'm just gonna, you know, you gotta work with what you got. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with using a pre-mixed box. What I like to do to kind of like mix it up a bit is I add like egg whites to this to make it crispy. And instead of water, I use milk to make it nice and fluffy. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna make like some pancakes. Like I said, I don't have a mixing bowl, so I'm gonna be using one of these. I need to make a grocery list. Um, and I also need to make like a little knickknacks list for organizing the kitchen. I can't go to Ikea because with everything that's happening, they've closed. So I think I'm just gonna have to resort to Amazon and Wayfair and well.ca to get the stuff that I need. So I'm just gonna get started on the pancakes now. I have my coffee and we're good to go. But Leith has to eat, so I'm gonna set you guys down and then I think I'm gonna just do like a time lapse um, of me kind of like making the pancakes and then um, yeah we'll go from there oh also I don't think I said good morning good morning welcome back to the vlog are going I really wanted to show you guys um, just the one little update that we've had in the house I managed to get my labels in um, for my spice jars and then I realized something and I'm a little gutted I have everything here at home to make these labels and the reason why I have those is because I have a business where I design my own labels, I do all of this stuff. And at first, you know, when I ordered these labels, I questioned myself because um, I know how to do all of these things, 
but honestly guys with everything that was happening I just didn't think I had the time you know between packing and moving and stuff so I'm like you know what I'm just gonna source these out and I had the labels made but I think for the pantry I'm gonna make them myself I know how and I have all the tools I have the waterproof labels that I need to make these so I'm gonna do that next time so this is my cinnamon but how pretty is that and so I'll link the Etsy store down below where I got the labels from but the jars are actually from Amazon and I'll link this down below too I'm gonna take a pause um, and just kind of like do Wade's pancakes really quickly so he can eat those and uh, then I'll pick the camera back up okay just give me a minute so anyways so these are the spices um i'll show the rest to you uh so basically um this is pretty much what they're looking like right now so i do have a bit more down here but i have to place an amazon order for more jars in full i need 40 spices and i have a quarter of those and i have five more down here that need jars but so far i have curry powder um cinnamon i have cardamom because uh, hina loves cardamom in her tea back here is cumin black pepper, sea salt, tandoori masala, cloves, thyme, and bay leaves. And then down here I have like chopped masala. Um, what else do I have? I have turmeric, um, what is this, coriander. So I have like a ton of spices down here if I need some. And then I just have my salt and pepper shakers just hanging out there. So like when we eat dinner and stuff, I can just pull these guys out. I'm gonna get started on breakfast and then I'm gonna tackle this house and see what I can do today. All right, I'll pick you guys up later. Bye. How's it going guys? We are watching Moana for the third time today. I am making chili today. The key here is to just make food that lasts days and days so I don't have to be cooking every single day. I'm really starting to see some gaps in kind of like our basic pantry and refrigerator grocery needs. So I placed a, another grocery order today, even though I placed one like five days ago. I placed another grocery order today just to hopefully, fingers crossed, I get that stuff. Because a lot of the stuff I ordered, I didn't end up getting it um, because just because they just weren't in stock. And these are general things that are usually in stock. Um, but I guess I'm just gonna have to make this chili without garlic. So hopefully it comes out great. Um, but right now I'm just sauteing some onions. And then I typically, this is where I throw in the first part of the seasoning. So I'll do some salt and pepper, cumin, coriander, all that good stuff. And then I put my beef in, I cook that down, and then I add more seasoning, tomatoes, my beans, and a little bit of water because I don't have broth because they didn't have broth in stock. Um, and then hopefully we should have a, a, at least hopefully a good chili. I don't even have browning, guys. So I don't, my beef, my chi this chili is going to be like, bare minimum maybe i'll just throw some potatoes in there and call it a day you know what i'm just gonna make pasta kitchen is nice and clean i have also leftover beef and pasta sauce because i made a lot of beef but i could always like re like make uh noodles but i just threw them in these really cool mason jars um, and they make really great kind of like storage containers for leftovers. And then we have this for Hina's lunch tomorrow. And then this is the dinner that Leif didn't eat, which he's gonna have tomorrow as well. So I'm gonna take you guys upstairs really quickly and show you Leif's room and pretty much tell you kind of the plan I have for that room. This is Leif's room. So we still need to finish his bed. Um, we need to do the top frame right there, which is right there on the ground. We need to get kind of like a cubby unit for him that's gonna go right here. I found a really great one in Ikea that I'm gonna grab. And that over there is not permanent, but for now, 
it works in that corner as his little side table. And then I have some artwork here that I got from Desenio. Um, these two are from Desenio. And then this one here we actually got in Mexico. I'm thinking of doing um, wallpaper on this back wall here. And, uh, but I haven't quite decided what I want to do yet. Uh, there's this online store I found called, I think it's Urban Decals or Urban Walls. Um, but I think I'm going to end up getting it from there. We still need window treatments and all of that stuff. And then this is pretty much his closet. Um, I haven't done much in here. I need to get more hangers for him. Uh, but I've hung up all of his jackets and like bigger sweaters and stuff like that. Right now I've folded some of his clothes and I've just put them on the shoe cubby here, but his dresser is in the garage. Um, Hina's gonna help me bring it up this weekend and it's gonna fit in this closet perfectly. I already measured it out. So his dresser is gonna go in here and it's gonna leave room on either side for us to like put things. So we'll put something over there I guess. I think what I would probably end up doing is have shelves built in and then they will go in the sides there and then his dresser will fit perfectly in the middle and then we're not going to do anything too drastic in this closet. We're probably just going to switch out the wire shelving for a wooden one and that's pretty much it. He has an extra pillow up there um, and his shoes are here. Not all of them, just some of them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. He has his Shervanis here, um, and they still fit him, so these are really nice. Hina actually has the matching one to this, which is kind of cute. Um, but yeah, so we need more hangers, because his suit is right here, and I have no hangers for it. So I think I'm actually going to take down a couple of these shirts, and so I can hang his pants, his suit pants, and his uh, dress shirt. So yeah, that's pretty much the chaos that's happening in here. So the frame and the bed, the bedding, pillowcases, all that stuff, all of that is from Coco Village. And I'll link them down below. Love the bed, hate the process. Um, the parts weren't labeled, so it was a bit of a struggle for Hina to kind of like put them together, especially for somebody who doesn't read a manual. It makes sense for stuff to just be labeled for her. Um, and his mattress is the Sealy Cocoon mattress. Um, you can get it at Costco or any of those places. And then that little straw thing over there in the corner, that's from Ikea. And I had this lighting for the longest time and I didn't want to throw it out and I didn't have anywhere to put it. And I think I'm going to use it in here. So I'm going to show you what it'll look like. If I turn it on, how cute is that? I'm gonna go do a load of laundry. I'm gonna go see if I can unpack a couple more boxes. I'm gonna call it for the vlog for tonight and I'll pick the camera back up um, in the morning. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the morning. Bye. <laughs> All right, everyone, welcome back. It is absolute chaos in here. I'm in the process of um, basically just kind of like putting all of her shit into the closet and it's proven to be a very daunting task mainly because Hina has so much clothes so there's just clothes everywhere there's like folded piles in different areas of the room so I basically just have to walk over pick up the pile and put it on the shelf but we're running out of shelf space so our dressers in the garage um, our chest it's a chest actually it's in the garage and it should go into our closet but they're both so heavy both our chest and lates they're both so heavy that we need an extra set of hands to bring it in and bring it upstairs but with self-isolation and everything that's happening it's proven a bit difficult to do that or even to enlist the help to do it because we've just kind of been trying to really follow the rules and just stay away from people as much as possible so even just um, little things like that it's just it's just hard like we can't do it so we have to just kind of wait it out and see what happens basically today I've cleaned the house the entire house is clean top to bottom scrubbed the tiles 
clean the hardwood floors, I clean the kitchen, all of that stuff. And then Hina and I, before she left for work, um, we mapped out the area for our dining table and, um, and our couch. But the dining table is coming next week and the couch is, the delivery estimate is April 17th. So like a whole month from when I ordered it. One second, Letha's calling me. The couch estimate is April 17th, which means that our dining table will get here before it. But um, we're going to get the dining table and then we're going to look and see what chairs we want to go with it. This is pretty much the mapped out space for the dining table. It is 72 inches, so it's six feet wide by uh, 42 inches, so just about three and a half feet. Um, so it's a good size and the room is a good size and we also have to remember that this room kind of serves double duty because not only is it a dining area but it also has to have enough space to walk through to get through to the rest of the house so when we were building the house this light fixture was centered to the room but the typical i guess during our design appointment she mentioned that they usually have them push it to the right four feet from the wall so that way you can put like a dining space and then have a walkthrough but i think this was just horribly estimated i think instead of four feet from the wall she probably should have moved it about five feet from the wall because now i'm gonna step back and see if i can show you now the light is not centered to the dining table like it's gonna drop like right there Grapes are all done, Baba. They're all done, baby. I'm sorry. We're we're getting groceries today, and then we're gonna get lots of fruits for you. Okay? Do you want some more crackers? Yeah. Or do you want some oranges? Crackers. Crackers. We're not changing these light fixtures anytime soon. We do plan on changing them but we're not changing them anytime soon. We're probably gonna change them right around the time when we get the pot lights. So I think, and my uncle, he's a contractor, so I'm gonna ask him to do it, but essentially what I'm gonna have them do is I'm gonna have them move this light fixture um, just like, a, an, a, like six inches to the left, and then that will center it to the dining table. It's just a little off, and it's gonna bother me so freaking much, it's not even funny. Um, but I think that's what I'm gonna have them do. I guess I could give you like a quick once over of the kitchen. Um, the only things like I mentioned before that we need to get are pendant lights and bar stools, but the kitchen is pretty much done. It is pretty much done and it looks amazing. It just looks so clean and updated and modern, but classy at the same time with the brass handles. It looks absolutely beautiful and I absolutely love this. this is probably my most favorite space in the house this and our master bath but absolutely loving the kitchen right now just got a message that our groceries are ready so I'm gonna go and grab those um, what's up yeah so I'm gonna go and grab the groceries where's your hat baby is this your hat We are back home. That was very, very easy. We pretty much just sat in the car and waited. They load everything, put the receipt in the back and um, didn't have to really deal with anyone, which is really good. So on our order sheet, it looks like a lot of stuff, but then when you actually get it, this is $180 worth of groceries, which is actually not as satisfying as I thought it would be. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly unpack that stuff and then uh, we'll have a chat, okay? See you in a minute. All right, everyone, so this is pretty much it for groceries. We got a lot of pasta. Sorry, I'm on hold because they left something off of my order. 
so I need to call them because I got charged for it. So anyways, we got some pasta. Um, yeah, so he now loves pasta, Leif loves pasta, so we got that. I ordered lots of fruits, but the only thing I was able to get um, were some raspberries and some apples. So at least we have those because Leif loves um, berries and apples. We got some shiitake mushrooms because I'm going to make um, risotto soon. And then I got the risotto scotty um, risotto rice. So I got that. <clears throat> we got some free range, free run eggs. Got some bread. Got some lettuce. Got some coffee creamer. Got some butter. I was only able to get one thing of butter. Um, some shaved parm for the risotto and we got some hot dogs so we got some halal wieners which are really really good we also got some super fries sweet potato fries because Leif loves those got my absolute favorite shrimp in the world and that marina del rey the wild caught argentinian shrimp this is so good the shrimp is so meaty we also got some fish sticks just so that Leif can have like snacks and stuff like that but yeah this is pretty much it for my grocery haul so now i'm gonna put them away i guess <laughs> everyone so this is pretty much what the pantry is looking like don't have much in the way of snacks um, but we do have quite a bit of hot sauce have a lot of pasta and these little cheat sauces that I use from time to time we do have a lot of carbs we have some lentils for doll um, oatmeal we have lots of cereal in the back there there's like three boxes of cereal back there got some pancake mix coffee um, English muffins and bread I guess we're gonna have burgers with English muffins for dinner <laughs> um, we have our pasta and stuff over here there's not really much rhyme or reason to it as you can see the shelf is pr still pretty empty we're not used to having this much space for a pantry and it would look a lot more full if I didn't have these baskets with like little snacks in there we've also got some pasta back there as well um, we also have like baking stuff in here so sugar baking soda baking powder um, some yeast dry yeast and stuff like that and then down here we have our canned goods please remember it's just two adults we don't need a lot of stuff um, red and my vinegars my rice and pasta down here we got potatoes and onions I think I'm gonna switch out um, this jar here that has the rice I'm gonna switch that out for something else uh, just because I have a larger container that I can use to put my rice in but I really needed to kind of like bring this bag down because I didn't have anything to put it in and I did end up opening the rice and then on the right side there I have oil I have vegetable oil and I also have olive oil behind that so that's pretty much what our pantry is looking like I'm imagining it's gonna take us a few trips to stock it up, especially with everything that's going on. We can't stock it the way we want to, we just have to be patient. Up here is where we keep our paper towel. And before you guys come at me for paper towel, a lot of this paper towel uh, we had at the condo when we used to stock it for Airbnb. So we just brought it here. So we ended up having a lot of paper towel, so we didn't need to buy any. And so that is the pantry. Um, this is what the refrigerator is currently looking like. It's also looking a little sparse. I'm not happy with the way it's looking, but a lot of the stuff I ordered, I didn't end up getting, but I decided to just keep my apples down here. I mean, I could put it here if I wanted to, but then this would be empty. Um, but yeah, I think I'll put Let's see if they fit though, that's the other question. There we go, it does fit, perfect. Did lose a lemon in the process. Um, 
so managed to put my apples here I do have a cabbage in the back that I need to chop up I'm gonna cut that up and put that in one of these containers here I have some broccoli that I need to cook um, we have some pineapple up here is where we have late snacks I got my eggs back there and then here we have some leftover um, bolognese from the spaghetti bolognese that I made for dinner earlier so i'm just gonna boil some more pasta and we're gonna have that for uh for dinner today and then um, we got some parm got some extra sauce up here we have more parm but a different kind this is the shaved parm and i bought it for the risotto that i'm gonna make and down here we have some cream cheese we have original and we have whipped whipped is my favorite kind um, we have some jam and peanut butter and then down here we have our condiments um, olives and almonds almonds and olives mayo more olives mustard no. and ketchup no. also got no. our drinks just sparkling water and some yogurt and we have pop in the pantry no. that Tina no. likes her pop here is where we keep most of our vegetables and meats so we have a little bit of bacon left over, we have some sausages, we have some um, some other sausages here, some salami and cheese. And then over here we have cauliflower, lettuce, some tomatoes, um, scotch bonnet peppers, we also have some artichoke and celery and cucumbers in there. And then this thing is so awesome, it's the Fresh Protect. And essentially what it does is it keeps your vegetables fresh um, by like absorbing the the gases that they give off when they're going bad so it absorbs all of that and it keeps your vegetables nice and fresh and then this is what our freezer is currently looking like please bear in mind remember i said that with everything that's happening we're unable to stock it the way we want to but here i have some salted cod or in jamaica we call this a salt fish and then down here um i have my shrimp i'm actually gonna put that up here and just make that my seafood drawer. Here we have some garlic bread. Um, I have some leftover roti that I'm gonna freeze and some leftover pulled chicken that I'm gonna freeze for, you know, if I need something to eat in the future. Um, I also have my little rose quartz roller here that I use under the eyes if they're particularly swollen. So I just keep this in the freezer in its uh, linen sack, garlic bread, ice. And down here, we have our chicken burgers and um, pie shells. And that's for making chicken pot pie. But as you can see, we, we've been unable to get meat because the stores are sold out. And then we have some fish sticks, some fries. And then over here, we have waffles. And then we also have some mango lollies so that Leith can have some of that. And then just some cold packs. So... That's pretty much what the fridge and pantry is looking like. Tina says she's not gonna be home till like seven, eight o'clock, so we're just gonna go ahead and eat without her. And then Leith and I are gonna hang out. We're gonna probably chill, watch a movie together or something. I'm just gonna put whatever I have to do on the back burner for now. It's so funny, because I've been home with him, but I kind of miss him, because I haven't been able to just sit down and hang out with him outside of like when we wake up in the mornings and I make him food and stuff like that we'll sit down and eat together but I haven't actually sat down with him in a few days and just did nothing and I think I'm gonna do that he loves spending time with me and so we're just gonna do that for the rest of the evening but I'm gonna call it quits for today's vlog I want to thank you guys so much for watching thank you for hanging with me on this journey thank you so much for all the love that you have given me on my last vlog um, it's actually pretty heartwarming to see that we're almost at a thousand views on that one I mean I'm used to getting a lot of views on my videos but I haven't uploaded in so long so I know that I've lost a lot of viewers as a result of that so just being able to get more than expected views is such a huge deal for me so just want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for all the love that you've been giving me and I will see you in the next vlog say bye bye see you tomorrow